in this lecture of maxima and minima we will be discussing one more example to find the maximum or minimum values if any of a given function the function given here is f of x is equal to 4x square plus 16x plus 18 where x belongs to the set of all real numbers now clearly the domain of this function is set of all real numbers because fx is a polynomial function now the function fx can be rewritten as to make it convenient for us to decide the maximum or minimum values so this can be rewritten as 4x square plus 16x plus 16 plus 2 where 16 plus 2 is 18 now if you take the first three terms we will take four common from this so that we'll get this as four times x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 2 and this expression is nothing but x plus 2 the whole square so therefore fx is four times x plus 2 the whole square plus now let us proceed to find the maximum or minimum values for the function we have clearly 4 times x plus 2 the whole square a positive quantity the reason x plus 2 the whole square this b square makes this a positive quantity and multiplied by a plus 4 will also make this a positive quantity therefore we have 4 times x plus 2 the whole square is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belonging to r now adding 2 to both the sides of this inequality we get 4 times x plus 2 the whole square plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 2 which gives us 2 if we observe here the lhs or the left hand side quantity is nothing but f of x in fact that is the reason we are adding 2 to both the sides of this inequality so that we get f of x on the lhs so replace this by fx so the inequality becomes f of x greater than or equal to 2 for all x belonging to r now from this it follows that f of x is greater than or equal to f of minus 2 for all x belonging to r now wondering how f of minus 2 has come here let us see what is f of minus 2 f of minus 2 is that is evaluate the function at x equal to negative 2 so if you put negative 2 here f of negative 2 will be simply 2 because this quantity vanishes that's how i have got f of minus 2 as 2 we have already said here fx is greater than or equal to 2 so therefore this 2 is replaced by f of minus 2 so what do we conclude here therefore f of x is greater than or equal to f of minus 2 for all values of x that means there is no value of x for which fx becomes less than f of minus 2 that is the minimum value of the function is f of minus 2 and which is equal to 2 and also the point at which the function attains the minimum value is x is equal to negative 2 now the same thing we will see in the graph the graph of this function is a parabola in fact it is a it is an upward parabola and we can see clearly here the minimum point on the graph it is at x equal to negative 2 the value is 2 therefore we can say that the function attains its minimum value at x equal to negative 2 now how about the maximum value of the function here fx can be made as large as possible so it does not attain a maximum value hence there is no maximum value for this function therefore 
we have the following observation the function attains the minimum value but it does not attain the maximum value at any point in its domain